Hey guys, welcome to W's DIY. I'm W and today I'm gonna to answer a question I get asked all the time by people who have never been ice fishing. That is, where do I do? Number two. Stick around, I'll give you a couple of options. Option number one is the high dollar option. These Reliance Luggable Lou's sell at most local hardware stores for about 50 bucks. They're essentially a five gallon bucket with a fancy molded plastic lid. Now this is fancy by ice fishing standards. The unfortunate part is that they require these liners. Now, a box of these contains six of them and they're about $20. Essentially what the liner is, is a Ziploc bag with a garbage bag inside containing some silica powder. Now the silica turns to a gel when it gets activated by moisture and keeps things from getting too terribly messy. To use them, you just insert it in the bucket, get as much as air from around it as possible, and put your lid on, ready to roll. When you're done, take the lid off, Pull the bag out. Tie that in a knot. Place it inside the Ziploc. And zip it shut. You just dispose of these on shore with the trash or any approved receptacle, or you can take them home. The second option is the DIY version. And what you need for that is a bucket and a lid, a three foot section of half inch or three quarter inch pipe insulation. Get the slotted stuff, but don't get the stuff with the adhesive strips on it. You don't want this sticking to anything. And so you'll cut that to length so it fits all the way around the pail. I just happen to have this on hand for demonstration purposes, so that's why I'm using that. Get some silica gel cat litter. This container is uh, 6.5 pounds, 2.95 kilograms. This was about 10 bucks at, uh, at the local Walmart. A Ziploc bag. And a garbage bag. Uh, you can also use a 25 liter kitchen catcher if you want, or you can go to a more heavy duty bag if, if you want. Uh, that's your call. So essentially the way that works is take your garbage bag, the idea here is to get as much air from around the bag as possible, so you got as much working room as as you uh, might possibly need. Next thing to do is put your piece of foam on. That just goes around the rim of the bucket like so. More than adequate to hold that bag in place. Voila! Pour a little of this silica cat litter in. Doesn't take very much. probably more than enough and away you go now at the end of the day take your bag as much of the air out as you can be very careful with this step tie a knot in it again you want to avoid the biohazard explosion in case something gets put on top of this bag in your travels. Put it in your Ziploc. Get that shut. Good to go. Now, a couple of key points. Keep everything in this container. Always make sure you've got extra garbage bags in the bottom. 
And when you bring toilet paper, bring at least two rolls on a multi-day trip. Keep that in the Ziploc bag as well. You want your powder dry. Put your lid on. Good to go.